yeah, during pandemic, I bought a mask and it was a handmade mask. So for me, it was interesting to see that maybe there were some industry industries that cannot stay at home to be safe from the virus. So um, that was the first time I questioned myself, is this product that is supposed to be saving our lives, um, what if it's also damaging others? So that's how it started. Well, actually, we, we were lucky enough to find a really good location to shoot at. Actually, it was a, a, a printer, but, but we, we adapted to, to be a sweatshop. So, um, yeah, the palette was already there. Fortunately, it was a, a place built in the 60s, during the 60s. So it was full of textures and it was already amazing. And our work was more like to frame it in an interest, interesting way and to, to, to light it like in a very realistic way. To me, that was really important to feel like this raw place and like not very human, human place. You know? So this was, uh, like Bruno said, uh, we wanted to feel, like the whole movie, to feel like a real place, like very raw. So we uh, decided that the music was going to be uh, like very little, but um, more, more like a sound effect uh, mm -hmm. instead of creating like melodic themes and uh, uh, something like that. So we approached the music from that angle and we tried to create like uh, an atmosphere like a, like attention to the situation more th more than um, uh, something more beautiful or something like that. It was very uh, strong story, uh, and we didn't want to take anything away from that. So we just built uh, from there. Uh, we had a, a theme that is the great theme that is called actually sweep shop uh, theme that uh, it was the only piece we did for this. Um, it's a piano, cello, and strings. There is a song, but it's the, the credit song. But one of the uh, uh, special things we did in this uh, work was very close, very, uh, work very close with Selma because she's very involved in all, in all the sound design. It's uh, very special to work with her because um, she's always thinking about uh, how it's going to be sounding. You know? And in this case, it was. Um, very specific because um, all the, the dialogues were uh, isolated. There is no sound around the, um, the, the sweatshop. So we started uh, to make uh, all this work with Selma. It was amazing. Uh, we really appreciate that because <laughs> she's really involved. She was, um, I don't know, maybe 10 days with us in the studio making all the, the sound design. It's very special that a director made something like that. I always ask myself the same question, like how did we get so lucky? Like we, we had this idea of like, oh, maybe it would be great if we had her, but we, we didn't believe it when, when she said yes. So we just sent her the, the script and then we had to wait for like a month and she said, yeah, let's do this. I mean, from her performance in Roma, you can see she's very vulnerable. So I thought like maybe we can do something in the same path and she's young, she's younger than me. And I also thought like she's, um, she's in an industry where so sometimes it can be hurtful for her. And I mean, it's another kind of industry, but I thought like, okay, maybe the aggression is not that uh, unknown for her. So that was my first thought.